Youth runner here with uh, Mount Carmel uh, Junior Standout Veronica Bell. Uh, we are six races in, and half of them have been uh, won by uh, uh, the host school here at the 44th A6 Mount Carmel Invitational 1932-8 in the Division I uh, Junior Girls Race. Uh, Veronica, obviously, knowledge is power, especially on this course. You kind of let some of the athletes take themselves out of the race in the first mile. I just was so appreciative and had so much respect for your patience. Uh, just how, how proud were you that you just kind of stayed within yourself race Veronica Bell's race and you know and and kind of you know uh, let everybody you know tire themselves out un unnecessarily you know early on and obviously you had more than enough left at the end absolutely I think I was super proud of my performance today I am um, but I really I wish I could say that that was what I planned and this is exactly how I imagined it but I started the race and I was like okay fourth I hope to wake I really hope to work up my way to second but this was amazing I think I paced myself well and then the fact that, you know, for like the second mile, the two Rancho Bernardo uh, girls, and obviously there was great interaction, you know, yeah. with, uh, with a couple of you after, uh, after the race, like they kept you honest, uh -huh. you know, uh, and then like in the last stretch, you know, that t tandem from Burroughs, you know, uh, it, it really started to, uh, to push in, uh, in, in the third mile. Uh, but just again, you being able to stay in command and control of what you, you, what, you, know, what you wanted to do, regardless of, you know, of, uh, of, of who was there, you know, I mean, uh, it, w did you feel like you had the ability to, to kind of, you know, just keep your head up and, uh, and, and be looking forward the entire time, or were you, were you hearing anything behind you? I think that was definitely part of it. I really kept my, I kept my focus on the next part, like Yupas Hill, I was like, just get up the hill, get down it and go straight on to the next one. So I think that was great. And they're amazing runners, amazing girls. I've talked to all of them. Super sweet, I love them so much. And they're amazing runners, so they, it was really good competition. Fantastic. It's always so fascinating. Like, you know, I, I watch, since I said, obviously three of the six you know, race winners right now are, uh, are you know, in, in, in this tent off to my left and your right. Yeah. Uh, and it's so fascinating to watch like Jackson winning last year, uh -huh. you know, and his evolution this year. Uh, how much, you know, and I, like I said, you know, at the start of our conversation, knowledge is power. How much does Veronica Bell feel like she understands this course, you know, better than last year, you know, uh, better than your freshman year? Um, my freshman and sophomore year, I was really finding like my mental space and I really think I found my mental space this year. Um, on the course, I mean, I've run this, what, five times now and every time it's always the exact same. But I think I've really figured out like the nooks and crannies where I can go just push a little harder. Most definitely. Uh, I love you talking about <laughs> the mental health aspect, you know, and, uh, yeah. and obviously just, you know, uh, really finding out what creates your rhythm, what, uh, what creates your flow. Uh, how did the summer, you know, and obviously even if we go back to, you know, to track season, but, you know, and, and this training, like, how did that uh, kind of mesh with, uh, with, with that, you know, or merge with that uh, to kind of, you know, add the more belief, more confidence, you know, maybe an increased level of fitness that also supports that mental health? Um, over the summer, my amazing coaches, they, um, they, sent a, they sent us training schedules and this summer we did a special, like not special, but we did a new thing where we like, we were running almost 45 to 50 miles a week and we were aiming for like 600 miles by the end of the summer. I think that really helped. I would say so. <laughs> uh, that's, a, uh, that's, a, that's a lot of work that, uh, that is in the metaphorical bank. <laughs> uh, for, for you to be able to, uh, you know, you know that you know, races on this course, training in this, a in this area, you know, uh, I mean, I was talking with Riley Biddle earlier, like, it's a lot more, a lot more of 80s and 90s and 100s, you know, than it is 60s and 70s. Like, so to be able to have a day like today, like, where, I mean, obviously, you know, Joshua and Jackson were blessed, you know, but the fact that, like, we're, we're almost in the middle of the schedule now, and it's still, like, really favorable conditions. I, I mean, like, you just, like, kind of say your blessings about stuff like that, because you know that it's not always like that at Bell Ball Park? I absolutely do. I was running my warm-up, and I was like, oh, this is wonderful weather. I'm great. It, this is great. Awesome. Again, 1932-8, uh, winner of the Division One uh, girls junior race. Uh, and again, uh, just keep piling on those victories uh, uh, for Mount Carmel at the 44th A6 Mount Carmel Invitational. Veronica, stay healthy. Congrats. Thank you.